JR Ranch has an arena, horse stables, and a beautiful country bunkhouse. And don't forget, an all new beach for pigs. Pigs. Uh, Lori Wallace joins us now with a look around the property. <laughs> hey, Lori. Hi, Lori. I can't get enough of this place. And let me introduce you to the pups. There's a couple oh, no. pups on the ranch, too. Aren't they the sweetest? So, yeah, this is an so amazing funny. property. This all comes with the Airbnb rental here, which we're going to show you in just a second. But I'm going to give a little treat to my friend. These are the sweetest. Look at that. Thank you. We're besties now. We're besties now. Oh, there's more. Okay, Richard, tell me a little bit about this part of the property. Uh, beautiful area over here. We've got a uh, covered arena. It's like 90 feet wide by 200 feet long. Not only covered, but it, <coughs> excuse me, it's also lighted. So we used to do a lot of lessons in here. Now it's mostly for the people that board their horses here. We have 12 horses that uh, we take care of for people. So that's exclusive for the uh, the owners. Okay, let's see how quickly we can make our way across the property uh, because I want to show you the Airbnb, which when you stay here, this is all that you get. So uh, talk about the Airbnb for a second. It's renting out uh, most of the month. Uh, how much is it and how far ahead should people book? It runs 250 a night. And uh, we're pretty much booked all the way up until the end of this year. There is some days in December that are open, but it, you know, if you want to come out and visit, the earlier the better. Yeah, they've gotten a lot of interest out here, and you guys can see why by everything I've been showing you this morning. So back to Piggy Beach we go. Off to the left here, that's the bunkhouse, and that's where people stay. Yeah, it used to be an old barn. It's been converted into a four-bedroom. Uh, there's a full kitchen. How cute. Room. It's got all the luxuries of uh, you know Wi-Fi and what have you. So be careful right there. We would take you inside, but there's people staying there, so that's kind of oh, rude. Okay. We don't want to do that. <laughs> um, and also, when you're here, uh, this adorable carriage. Uh, Rich, I'll take you around the property on this, and this has a lot of history behind it too. Yeah, the the tractor used to be actually from World War II, and it pulled aircraft in and out of the uh, the hangars for oh. the Air Force back then. Very cool. Okay, so now to the events, right? There's so much happening out here. I'm trying to get through it as quick as I can. So they do weddings out here and small events. Of course, the beautiful pond area that we saw a little bit earlier, also known as Piggy Beach. Uh, and then the huge grass area over here. And then Rich just built this beautiful barn, which we're going to take you over to. And it took him all of six weeks. I'm like, what? excuse me, you got this done in six weeks? Uh, but you guys worked really hard on it, and now it's open for events. I've, I've got a lot of local friends that did the cement work, <laughs> the asphalt, the, the building. I've got a, a, go. a good buddy, Dave Hollis, that does all the extra handyman stuff that I need. So always try and go with the local people first as far as trying to get people to help out with things. Yeah, so you can use all of this space out here when you come have an event. About 100 people, that's pretty much what, what you're yeah, open for. We max out at 100. We don't want to get too overboard with uh, what we could accommodate. But yeah, this is the, uh, the inside of our new little event barn. So weddings, family <laughs> reunions, birthday parties, whatever. It Corey. is a straight up field trip, Court. These animals the are animals. so social. They've been following us around the entire time. I cannot get over it. So and great. they have another resident over there by the tree. That's Mo, right? That's Mo. Hi, Poor Mo. little guy. When he was born, his wings were inverted, so Aww. he can't fly, so he's kind of stuck here. So we take care of Mo. We feed him, you know, twice a day, but he just. He's a fixture here. Yeah, his Hello. family took off and he, he ended up in this beautiful spot. So he's here with all his friends, the pigs, the dogs, the goats, the horses, the cow, <laughs> living happily. So you can find JR Ranch there on Facebook. You can find him online. Uh, reach out if you'd like more information about the Airbnb uh, and more about what they do out here. Of course, we'll link all that information to our website too. Guys, I'll send it back over to you. I am in love with this place. Oh my goodness. They are great. Make sure you. <laughs> Count the animals before you get into the live truck because I got a feeling one of them is going to try to hop in with you. Hey, I'll take that one right, right. there. Look, he's already coming. Oh, yeah. Is he's that Jimmy? coming. <laughs> Jimmy Dean. Oh, that's Oscar. Oh, that's, that's Oscar. Oscar. Oh, my and God. They, and they answer to their names. When he calls them over, they come running fast, too. <laughs> fast. Fast. For pigs. The best. <laughs> I can watch this all day. Oh, my gosh. The best. Thanks, Lori. That made my entire day. <laughs>